الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد ولی وصحبی وسلم اما بیر حبت فلّہ اٹس امپیرٹو دیٹ وی انڈرسٹینڈ دیٹ اللہ سبحانہ تعالیٰ سے اس کی کتاب الکریم و تعاون علی بیر و تقو ولا تعاون علی اتنی عدوان این کوآپریٹ علی بیر و تقو کوآپریٹ ان پائیٹی ان رائٹسنس این ڈو ناٹ کوآپریٹ ان سنفلنس ان انمی ہیٹرڈ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, in the mu'minun, ikhwa, verily the believers are brothers. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, al-Muslim akhu muslim yishidhu ba'dhu ba'dha. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam said, the Muslim is the brother to the Muslim. They strengthen one another. What I want to talk about, ahabati fillah, from the perspective of advice, is that we cannot afford, as a community, to continue to be divided, And not look out for your Muslim brothers and sisters that are reverts. Because in, for example, in America and probably in the UK and in Canada, and it's similar, that you have massive immigrant communities from Pakistan, Bangladesh, India, Somalia, Ethiopia, all over the world, Turks, and various communities, Southeast Asia. And often what happens is there's an alienation because of various political reasons and various reasons from the indigenous population. First, from the perspective of Dawa, this is a mistake. That if you are now in a community which is predominantly African American or predominantly whatever, Caucasian, or in the suburbs, or in the inner city, wherever you are, that the Muslims should not just be aliens. That, in fact, they have a duty. You've made hijra to the Western countries. Then you should at least represent Islam. And you should at least have a positive effect upon the community, which is a, ref a reflection of Islam. That's another type of da'wah, is by setting example, peace and stability, showing the people righteousness and righteous conduct. As the Prophet ﷺ said, There isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of a believer than wicked manners, and verily Allah hates wicked and sinful speech. So you should distinguish yourself from others. The Prophet ﷺ said, من تشبه في قوم فهو منهم Whoever resembles the people, he is from them. So you should, the people should resemble you from your good examples. What I want to actually discuss more specifically, Habitu Fillah, is not just that da'wah, but the da'wah to your Muslim brothers and sisters and the new reverts to Islam. That often, as has been pointed out by others, when it comes to Eid and things like this, those are some of the loneliest times for many reverts. No family, maybe they left their family to come to Islam. So now you are their family. And if you don't invite that brother and that uh, lone sister to your gatherings, to visit, to rejoice, where, where will they go? It's a time of great sadness for some. And some of them actually revert back to the ways of Jahiliya or leave Islam because of their treatment that they experience, because of the lack of cultural sensitivity that they experience, from the lack of inclusiveness, inclusiveness that they, they, they experience from their own Muslim brothers and sisters. So we have a duty to support them, and supporting them is supporting yourselves. And... That is first and foremost because they are us. We're Muslim, as we, met, we mentioned. Verily, the believers are brothers. So if you want to be from the believers, who Allah has praised and who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded to be brothers with that Islamic brotherhood, then you need to look out for all your brothers and sisters. Secondly, the future of Islam, of course, is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if you're not doing your duty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise someone else and discard you.
So the people are still going to flock to Islam whether you're doing your job or not. But instead, we should strive to be a part of that positive future and to leave behind good and, and be inclusive of our brothers and sisters and remove those racial and barriers of ignorance and jahiliyyah that is prevalent in our communities. Third, you have to remember your brothers and sisters, they left Islam, they left uh, disbelief to come to belief. They need that spiritual support. They need that fam uh, family uh, support. They made hijrah, in a sense, from their old community and their old ways and their own families to then be in a whole alien environment. It's very different from the way many of us lived prior to Islam. And I'm going to give you an example, as I've mentioned many times, that a huge percentage, and I want to say from where I'm from, I'm from, born in Seattle, Washington, and grew up in Seattle and then outside of Seattle in the suburbs. And a significant... 70% I would say of the people that from my generation who embrace Islam with me around my time a little after me I would say 70% especially the sisters are gone they left Islam many years ago and the brothers as well because there was no reform of character and there was no other assistance because people need knowledge and people need reform we all need that reform so what can we do as a community to make that reform happen for all of us and all of our youth? Because immigrant youth are losing their youth, losing their youth to the streets, as many of us lost our youth to the streets prior to Islam and unfortunately in Islam. What can we do? Number one, education. So, talib al ilm you know, in, 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 in helping for those people who have knowledge, those imams, those students of knowledge, and others in du'at, to have some programs, have something to offer the people. Offer all the people, regardless of whether they're a revert or whether they were born into Islam. We need education uh, of the religion, to know what is Islam, how to practice it properly, how to build our characters, because building the character, changing the character, changing some of the negative behavior is imperative how to support one another. We need to be able to, communities have to move beyond what they've been upon and begin to have support systems for people who have substance abuse, people who have physical abuse, people who have all the various types of abuse. We need networking, we need support. And lastly, good companionship because the Muslims are brothers to one another. So we need to have good companionship and we ask of all the Almighty to help us to support one another and raise up amongst the righteous with sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.